Welcome to the Art of Comics. This is your host, Andre Salazar. Thank you for checking out the episode today and the What's Going Down episode. It is Sunday, uh, July the 15th, I think it is, or the 14th. We're getting ready for Comic Con. I'm packing. I'm going to show you what I'm packing, getting ready for this week. Very excited about what's going down. Um, I got my itinerary figured out. We're going to kind of go through that really quickly here today. But basically, my big agenda for Comic Con is to. Um, be inspired, get inspiration, get some new books, get some new stuff going on, and um, just, I'm, I love Comic-Con, so I'm excited to get new things, talk to a bunch of people, talk to some creators, talk to some editors, do some hustling on my new stories, uh, see if I can get some, some traction on those, as well as uh, maybe buy a few things. So for me, before I get into what I'm packing, let me just talk a little bit about what my plan is. Um, I'm staying with a friend down in San Diego. Got very lucky on that. So I'm driving down Wednesday in the morning. Uh, I will be taking the trolley from the stadium um, down into downtown and the gas lamp. So that's really simple and easy. It's 20 bucks for the week to use the trolley. And um, I love that train. It's awesome. So I'm going to go there around 2 o'clock, get my pass and head my butt down there on Wednesday for preview night. First thing I like to do is donate some blood. We're gonna get my cool little new shirt. It's gonna be like a Avengers shirt for donating blood. Do that right off the bat before preview night opens at six. And then I'm gonna do something a little different this year. I'm actually going to hit up Mondo um, Tees, which is that uh, really cool artisan artistic kind of like posters and vinyl records and things like that. I'm gonna go hit them up first because I've never gotten the posters. I could have many times, but I never was like jazzed by one specifically and it's always a huge line. But this year I saw a couple things like there's this um, Blade Runner 2049 uh, vinyl uh, of the soundtrack and I really kind of want to get that because I think that'd be kind of fun to listen to the soundtrack while I'm painting and drawing. So I'm going to try to do that first thing right when it opens. Assuming I'm donating blood, I can chill out and I have enough time to donate blood, which is in the Grand Hyatt, run over or walk, because I just donated blood, to the hall, walk in the exhibit hall at 6, get a couple things at Mondo's. Uh, I also, for the first time, got one of the kind of... Um, merchandise the official like merchandise uh, exclusive stuff that the comic-con puts on so uh, I got a little hoodie kind of went a little big on that uh, so I might hustle back to the Grand Hyatt to pick that hoodie up either Wednesday or I'm gonna just do it Thursday morning not sure because Thursday I want to hit the art show I'm a huge fan of the art show I volunteered years ago at the art show and I thought that was really fun to just see both professionals and amateur people selling their art and I have some stuff I should show you. I have some pieces of art that I bought framed from the show long ago. So I think it'd be really fun to buy some. So I might get some art at the art show. So I'm gonna hit that up first thing Thursday. And then uh, in the morning, kind of tool around, I'm on my first panel. Never done a Comic-Con panel. It's called Mormons Making Comics. Really excited about that. It's my first time. So that'll be cool. So I'm going to be on that panel. That's in the Sherrod, uh, excuse me, that's in the Marriott at noon Thursday. Then after that, I got a couple more panels. So I'm doing, I hit the panels hard. Basically, I'm in two spots. I'm paneling or I'm going to be hitting the floor. Those are my two things. The floor to get new books, to talk to people, creators, uh, and editors. That's that reason. And then the panels to like learn new things, talk to creators. I mean, I guess the same thing, both. Uh, <laughs> uh, the panels I'm interested in, I'm actually interested in a lot of manga, uh, which I've always been kind of interested in manga. You know, I have the Akira set. I love Lone Wolf and Cub, but I'm not, say, a huge manga fan. I do like a lot of different anime, but if you looked at my shelves, very few manga, really. But there's a couple new manga things that I'm interested in, so I'm going to go to some panels. There's um, there's one or two that are always that are really informative for me. It's like 
the best manga and the best anime of this year and stuff like that. So I like to kind of like take notes. So I'll be doing that for sure. Um, some editor, you know, panels, publisher stuff. There's a couple spotlights I want to see. Eric, um, Eric Campbell, Eddie Campbell, uh, Chris Ware. I love the Frank Miller, but I don't know if I'm going to get a Frank Miller. That might just be too hard to get. Uh, and that's probably, and a couple other little things, stuff like that. Writers, stuff, you know. Um, I don't go to Hall H. I don't do the movie trailers. I don't do any of the promotional, you know, stuff, selling me on movies. I'm really there for the comic books. So that's kind of what I'm going at. Um, couple activities at in the evenings. One thing I always love to do is I love to go to Ghirardelli's and get a little shake or a little like Sunday. So I'll probably go get my Sunday on probably Thursday or Friday, the lesser of the two busy days. Um, and then there's a couple little like meetups and group ins. There's like a Reddit uh, meetup I might go to or a um, you know Song of Ice and Fire uh, meetup. I might go to that. Something like that. I don't know. Or I might play some games, because I know some people there that we love to play werewolf, so I might play a little werewolf. Not sure. Basically, the trolley, or the train trolley, that runs until midnight, so I can tootle around there till midnight. I'm going to bring my longboard skateboard. I may or may not use it which days, I don't know. I, if I use it, it probably would make the most sense to use it like on a Thursday when the crowds are a little lighter. But even then... You can't really use the skateboard until you get out a couple blocks away because it's just so freaking crowded. But I might bring my board. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bring my board. I just don't know what days so I'm going to like take it down to gas lamp. That's the thing. But it's going to be my car for sure. Um, what else? Yeah, the big things is um, just meeting some creators, some people that I've always wanted to meet, like Chris Ware, things like that. So I'm really stoked. I'm excited. And uh, let's just jump right into what I'm bringing. Okay, let's just go do that right now. Okay, here's like some of the stuff I'm bringing. I'm gonna use this backpack right here. Um, I like to have a good size backpack because I'm gonna be getting some books and most likely they're gonna be hardcover books and they're kind of heavy. Plus I bring a copy of Pariah with me to kind of share with uh, other creators and people to kind of show my work. So I need a big book and then I'm gonna have, and it comes with this little guy uh, to put like snacks and things like that. And I geeked it out already with a couple little pins, which I like. So I kind of geeked out my backpacking day pack. But that should work good. I'm excited to kind of have that with me. I'm going to bring some bottles of water. I was going to bring my big like thermosy thing, but I think that this might actually be better because it's light. Because this is going to be heavy, I'm going to try to go light. So I'm going to use these little cheap little things of water. I'm going to bring two phones. My phone that I'm recording this with which is like my actual phone phone. And then this older phone, which is gonna have my schedule. I'm using, um, I'm using the San Diego Comic-Con app as well as Sked, that app, and kind of figuring out which one I'm gonna really use at the con. But I have them both downloaded here. So I can check my schedule, I can check my little notes, stuff like that. So I'm gonna have this for videos and recording, blah, blah, blah. And then my other phone is for like making calls when I need to because I always have a problem with power and definitely I'll have my charger with me for that. Uh, got my badges, no big deal. Got my badge, I need to get my lanyard out to get that all set up. Um, books I'm gonna bring. This is probably a long shot. For one thing, the telephone is, this book is heavy, but I would love to get Eddie Campbell to sign this. So I'm gonna bring it with me. I don't know if it's gonna actually get in my backpack, but it's coming to San Diego. I would love to get Frank Miller to sign these. I don't know what the likelihood of that is um, because it sounds like there's gonna be massive lines. I'm gonna need like a wristband for one event. I'm gonna need to pay $100 if I want him to sign this other event. So while he's there, it just might not be possible. But I'm gonna bring these for the hell of it. Again, this is kind of heavy, but I would love to get him to sign that. And Bilks and Cabbage is a lot easier to get signed, so I might even bring it just to get Bills. I'm definitely bringing this no matter freaking what. This is Jimmy Corrigan. I did an episode of, of, of him uh, earlier this week, so please go check out the Jimmy Corrigan episode of Chris Ware. Um, I love this book to death, so I definitely want to meet him. I'm meeting him on Sunday, so I'll get that. And I'm not a big poster guy. I've never gotten posters and prints, but I'm going to go ahead and bring the little tube 
like a nerd and see how that goes. And if I get some prints or something, I might try to roll them up and put it in that thing. Again, I've never done it, but I thought, what the hell, let's give it a shot. Bring on my business cards. Um, I'm bringing my notebook. This has like all the people I want to meet and chat with, what they do, uh, and also has my list of comics that I might be looking for, and then some stories and stuff that I'm working on now. So I could sit here and work on my uh, my latest comic, write some dialogue or whatever. And so I'll have this little this little guy. It's a little big though, but is what it is. Might bring my switch. I'm debating again it's a size thing but um this might be fun waiting in line and kind of just hanging out when i have those down times to have my switch so this might just be fun to have i don't really have good games on my phone so i'm not really into that uh i could bring some comics but then the weight is an issue what else clothes my clothes i'm bringing some pants i'm gonna bring some shorts all my clothes are kind of like camping clothes so they're uh thin they breathe, they're, they're that kind of like uh, REI, North Face, those kind of um, clothing. So I like the light travel friendly pants. I got a couple geeky shirts, you know, about D&D &D or comics. So I'll bring those. I like to dress up a day, so I might bring a couple button up shirts in case I go out that night or uh, I just want to like look good when I talk to an editor or somebody like that. Not that Comic-Con is a good place to talk to editors. Let me just say that. They're just so damn busy and they've already got their like assignments and interviews set up so the chances of me just walking up to one and getting a chance to really pitch is kind of small so um but i still am going to give it a shot snacks i bring a lot of snacks i'm gonna put these in little little baggies i got bars i'm into bars so i'll bring a bar i might bring some cheez it's things like that so i'll bring some snacks with me in the bag eat them at my discretion I'll try to get like a breakfast burrito in the morning because I love to do that that kind of gets me really through the day at lunch I might get a, at a taco truck or something at somewhere close um, dinner I usually don't eat dinner or maybe I'll find something like on the way home as I'm back by the stadium away from everything just at a fast food place I rarely go out I try to go out like one night at a nice place but I, I honestly, when I do Comic Con, I'm kind of a lone, a lone wolf. So um, at least the last couple of years, I've been lone wolf in it. So I don't have a big crew to kind of hang out. But um, that would be fun. So this is what I'm planning on bringing. This is my gear. Really excited. Um, yeah, feel free to give any comments what I should do differently or any advice or questions you have. Um, you know, you can hit the subscribe button as well. I'm going to put in some new episodes post con as well as I have an episode of. Sergio Topi coming up and a couple other uh, books that I got recently that I'll be talking about. So thanks a lot and uh, have a great one guys. Oh, yeah.